Stevie, um, a lot of eyes on Man United given the upcoming week that they're going to have and knowing that it's quite packed. They did exactly what Man United do in this match, concede an early goal, come back, all guns blazing in the second half to get the win. Um, they will definitely be pleased that they held off Manchester City from winning the title as well. But how pleased will Ole be with this performance? Well, I think, as you said, it's kind of the norm for United now. Um, and as much as we kind of titter at it and snigger, the truth <laughs> is, Ollie won't be that pleased that they've gone behind again uh, mm. because he knows that, you know, if they just keep doing this, eventually it's going to bite them in the backside. Uh, and with some big games coming up, particularly the, the Europa League final, mm -hmm. you don't want to, you don't want to be letting anybody get ahead of you because sometimes you won't be able to get it back for whatever reason. It might be a, a goalkeeping display from the opposition or you miss your chances. So the one thing that Ollie will be thinking about is we've done it again. And how can we stop doing this? Uh, because it is a real bad habit. How do they stop doing it then? If you were to to throw in your two cents, well, I think it's down. To be honest, it's down to individuals, in my opinion, uh, making mistakes. Um, mm -hmm. You know, United as a team started the game well, so you can't say well they didn't start well. Yeah. Uh, the truth is this is that you know Lindelof didn't close the ball enough. Uh, on Traore and that's just an individual error from a defender if he's closer if he's tighter then Traore doesn't get the shot away Lindelof doesn't get tight enough and it's in the back of the net so it's really about individuals in my opinion the 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 setup isn't bad uh, you know the, they don't give many chances away certainly didn't give many today uh, to Villa and even the goal was a half chance mm -hmm. so just those small details will make the difference and make it easier for, for United and for Raleigh to, to win games more comfortably rather than being comfortable in the end, but not completely happy with what they're doing. And then when you look at um, probably some of those individual errors, do you feel like, Stevie, that they're coming from players, like you mentioned, Linda Love, there is a debate as to, you know, who are United's best, I suppose, defenders or defensive line uh, going forward. Um, do you feel like it's coming from individuals that may just not be good enough at the end? Well, I think right now Lindelof um, is one of United's better defenders. Uh, his partnership with Maguire at centre-back, mm. I think, is the best one they have. Uh, so I don't, I don't believe it's a case of either pulling him or Maguire or anybody else out. It's a case of can you, can you get him to just raise a little more, just raise the level of touch so that you're not conceding goals from from well positions that you shouldn't because uh, that shouldn't happen today I suppose one little bit of a concern too is the man that you just mentioned as well Harry Maguire we saw that he looked to have a bit of an ankle issue coming off um how worrying is that for Man United especially given the week that I said that's coming up for them yeah I think it would be you know he he definitely is uh, a rock for United I think he's one of those players that the rest of them look around and when they look behind him, they see Maguire, they, 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 he makes them feel comfortable. Uh, listen, don't get me wrong, he's no Franz Becker, but, but he has a certain, he carries himself a certain way uh, and he definitely gives the others around him confidence. So that's definitely going to be a blow. I think, I think the biggest worry for Ollie is that it's not anything other than just a little knock uh, because Ollie's eyes, no question, will be on the, the Europa League final. I think that they're going to be comfortable as far as the top four. Uh, it would take a, it would take an awful collapse for them not to be in the top four. So I think Ollie will be looking at Ian McGuire and thinking, right, right now the most important thing for me is to make sure he's ready for that Europa League final. And finally, Stevie, um, like we said, in less than two days' time, Leicester City for United, then that rescheduled match against your boys at Liverpool. What would Ole have been looking for in this game or what would he have learnt to go into those two clashes? To be honest, I think Ole is, will be more than happy to get three points because that means that he can rotate and, and, and as much as possible. You know, you look at Man City yesterday making nine changes. Uh, Ole wants to get himself in a position where he can do that. Uh, if possible, uh, they've got a lot of games. I think they've got like five games in 15 days. Uh, and so you're going to have to rotate. So 
the sooner they win more games and, and guarantee that top four spot, then the sooner Raleigh can just say, you know what, the most important players, I can just leave them out um, and even play some of the guys that, that really haven't seen the field an awful lot. So that's that's key for him. Get safe and then get some players out and give them a break for that big game, that big final. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.